yummy in my tummy. Two cookies with a cookie in between makes a great cookie sandwich if you know what I mean. Welcome back to Let's Play Pajama Sam. So, we're in this heart here and we're going to explore the next artery. This is Foothills. Hey, I was wondering. Uh, 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 what do we do when we see a door, young man? Good question. Um, knock on it, I guess? Hello, young man. What can we do for you today? My name is Sam. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. How delightful. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. Well... We need to know about a cheese fork, so... Hey, I was wondering... Uh, 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 what do we do when we see a door, young man? Um, knock on it, I guess? Have you seen anyone around here with a straw hat? A straw hat? I think maybe one of those beans at the construction site had one. Don't you, Selma? Uh, yes, perhaps. But I do try not to think about those uncouth legumes. They make such a racket. So we're going to the construction site. Um, hey, I was wondering. Uh, 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 what do we do when we see it? Which is more important, etiquette or dancing? Etiquette. Dancing. Etiquette helps you to enjoy the company of others. So does dancing. Etiquette helps you do it properly. Hmm. Well, when. Oh, hey, a box oh, top. Oh, good, another box top. This is the construction site. I don't see anybody with a straw hat. There it is. Hi, I'm Sam. Oh, hi. I see you've got a straw hat. Are you a delegate to the peace conference? No, uh, I'm the foreman here. I was supposed to give this hat to bean number 47, who is our delegate, but I can't. Why not? Because we don't know which bean is number 47. I was going to use the new BCS 4000 bean counter sorter, <laughs> but I don't have the instruction manual, so I can't put it together. It does sound like a problem. It is. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. It couldn't possibly be this. BCS 4000. Boy, there are a lot of parts in there. It's a hopeless mess. And the instruction manual didn't come with it, so I've got no way at all of putting it together. How's this? What about this, buddy? Do you know anything about technical manuals? Oh! It's the BCS 4000 Operator's Guide by Dr. Gizmo Flutewing. Sprouts be praised! We can put the machine together! Quick, help me. Take an end. <laughs> yep, we're just going to bring that down the stairs. It's not going to break. That ought to just about do it. Thanks for all your help, Sam. Hey, what do you say? Shall we fire it up? I'll let you do the honors. Sure! All beans to the counting and sorting machine. I can use this machine to sort the beans and find number 47. The kidney beans go on one side, and the jelly beans go on the other. So yeah, you have to literally sort the beans in this little mini-game. And you can see what's coming up. See, we got a kitty right now. Um, I can change which way the beans fall by clicking on those switches. 
and then it gets a stamp for each one. So we have to go through 47 beans here. It's not that hard. Okay. So bean 47 will always be a kidney bean, by the way. Oh boy, it's me! Swamp. I'm number 47! Yahoo! Well, it looks like you're bean number 47. So you've got to represent us at the peace conference. It's a great honor! You better take this hat, in case there's any confusion. Thank you, Foreman! I'll be on my way immediately! Well, that's one down, three to go. Good work, Sam. And good luck. Thanks. Alright, we got our first delegate say... well... Second one. We saved the kidney bean. We need the cheese questions to save him. And we need Ferris wheel fixing for her and dang granny. Who knows where this the apple? Now you can go here and play it again. We continue to sort beans. If you would like. Oh, well, we're not gonna be able to figure out our cheese fork thing. I, I could guess. use a ride again. Hop on. <laughs> and now we go to the last heart piece. Celery, garnish, good for one free etiquette lesson. Hmm. Well, it's free. Ooh, etiquette lessons. What is etiquette anyway? It's like being polite when you talk, setting the table properly, that kind of stuff. Oh. Hey, Sprinkle, how about another ride? Sure, anytime. We're going back. We know what the cheese is made of. We still need the cheese fork and then cheese sandwich. We're back. Knock, knock, knock. Excuse me. Yes? I have a coupon for a free etiquette lesson. So you do, young man. So you do. Come right in. Mm. Table manners are the most commonly neglected rules of etiquette in these modern times, so that's what we'll cover in today's lesson. First, a few pointers, all right? Okay. Never rest your arm on the table while eating. Eat your soup with a spoon. Do not slurp it from the bowl. Never throw food at the table. Excuse yourself before making funny animal noises. <laughs> Do not draw and poke holes in or set fire to the tablecloth. Standing on the table during a meal is not permitted. Eat all the food on your plate and do it in alphabetical order. Are we okay so far? Um, I guess so. Good. Now a few words about place setting. The dinner plate goes in the center with the bread plate to the left and the glass or glasses at the upper right. Silverware should be placed as follows. Forks on the left. Salad fork. Seafood fork. And steak fork. To the right we have the steak knife. Seafood knife. Soup spoon. Cocktail weenie poker. Swizzle stick. And mashy niblick. Dessert silverware is set separately after the meal. Any questions? Um, which one is the cheese fork? The cheese fork will be the one which is brought with the cheese. Oh, that's easy then. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for coming, and we do hope you'll consider us for all your etiquette needs in the future. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, then. Talk 
talk about the world's fastest etiquette hey, lesson. Sprinkle, how about another ride? Sure, any time. We've almost solved the great cheese question. Now we know the cheese will Another coupon? I can. <laughs> Cause why not? Dancing cans. What are you all jumping for? It's not jumping, we're dancing. It's called the pogo. Pajama Man Lunchbox? No, this is the RX-1000 food suspender. The Cadillac of lunchboxes. It's vacuum sealed, and it has a nitrogen-based temperature regulator. That's pretty fancy for a lunchbox. No, oh, it has to be. Inside, perfectly preserved, I've got the ultimate. The best cheese sandwich ever made! Really? I love cheese sandwiches. What kind of cheese do you use? Better cheese, of course. It's the best for cheese sandwiches. Mmm, mmm, sounds delicious. What's this? Oh, that's just my old ski ticket. I heard it's so Cyrus now. You can have it if you want. What are these shapes marked on it? That's the route I always take when I go skiing. Oh. Ah, a wrench to fix our Ferris wheel. Say, that's a nice wrench. Yep. That's a Shaftsman High Council Monkey Man with 30 to 300 auto zoom and... Hey, are you in the union? The union? The plumber's union. Let's see your plunger. Um, I haven't got a plunger. Well then, don't touch the wrench. It's for trained professionals. Okay. Could I try out your plunger sometime? I don't think so. This here is professional equipment. We need the wrench to for this. Here. I A had box. box huh? <laughs> we just need four more box tops. I have not seen any more box. Oh. oh, good, another box top. Speaking of which, <laughs> how did I miss this oh, one? Right. Hey, Sprinkle, how about another ride? Sure, any time. Why do I need to say that like every time I... We also need to go get a plunger. What did you say that horn is called again? It's the horn of celebration. I use it to celebrate when I've answered a question I was pondering. Syllabus, can you tell me the three parts of the great question of the nature of cheese again? Part one is which fork at the table is the cheese fork? Oh, I found that one out. 
the cheese fork is the one that gets brought with the cheese. Excellent. <laughs> it is elegant in its simplicity. Well then, let us move on. Part two is what type of cheese is the moon made up? Oh sure, I remember now. I saw it through the telescope. It's cheddar. Amazing! A telescope! Why didn't I think of that? Part three is what sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? Oh, I know which one it is. The plumber told me feta cheese is the best. Of course. Plumbers are renowned for their excellent taste in cheese sandwiches. Really? Well, this is fabulous. You've helped me to answer all the parts of the great question of the nature of cheese. You are a wise young man, Sam. Thank you. And now, for my favorite part. We get to eat some cheese? <laughs> no, we get to blow the horn of celebration. I do it every time I get the answer to one of my questions. Since you helped me so much, perhaps you would like to do the honors. Oh boy, would I? Doink, doink. <gasps> Well, you definitely caused an avalanche. Oh no! Not again! Wow! We saved cheddar cheese. Say, kid, great plan. You really helped me out of a jam here. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd stick around and swap stories with you, but I've got to get to that peace conference pronto. See you around, Sam. Bye! Well, I guess we gotta start the hole over again. Let's take a break first. Good idea. Come on, everybody, break time! That's a good well, idea. Well, that's two delegates down, two to go. That is a good idea. We should take a break. Um, But let's go grab our plunger. Each shape show the route that plumber took when he went skiing. Show the route that plumber took when he went skiing. Circle. I'll need some skis before I go down there. Oh I boy, I'm gonna, gonna go, go skiing! Skis and bowls are self service. Last one to the bottom is a rotten egg! Alright, so we know exactly which route we're going. Circle. Triangle. Whoop. Oof. Almost went the wrong way there. Circle. Oh, let's go grab this. There we go. Now we got the plunger. Oh boy, a plunger! I wonder if it'll stick to my head. Uh. No, it won't stick to your head. Unlike the... Yeah, skipping your dialogue sprinkle, because we don't. Alright, well, that's all the time for we have on this episode of Pajama Sam. Next time, we're going to fix this leaky faucet here. And get this wrench. And uh, save the last two delegates. 
and maybe the final episode. Well, bye bye. Would you like another batch? <laughs> Love me some chocolate chips, peanut butter bits. Love me 